Perfect. Starting. Hello, everyone. We are here. We are back. We're gonna continue beating the shit out of these mages. I will slowly walk towards you. You guys will fire everything you have and still fail. And then get clubbed to death. Look at that health orb. Aw, oh, I, I killed them in their bedroom. That's not fun. I hate when people attack me in my bedroom. It's the worst. We can't go any further. Is there another path? Yeah, I cleared it out with my ass. Oh shit. Mana, you're up. Ah, skeletons! You think you have what it takes. Guess what? You didn't. Why do you guys stand beside explosive barrels? That just seems weird. Yeah, I can't read mute sheet music either, Pete, so I wouldn't worry about that. Arena hasn't taught me how yet. Oh, you know what this is time for? God damn, that skill is so good. I want to clear out some mobs, use that. That is awesome. So basically what happens when I use it is, it causes every hit to cause like a shockwave to go off of it, which then causes a shockwave to go off of it, off when it hits another person, so it just reverberates off of every enemy around it. So good. Yeah, reading the notes and like, you know what sheet music looks like, right? With like the treble clefs and the bars and or the note placements and such. Like, I, I get the concept, I just don't know what, what they are, I guess. This is Heaven's Clock Tower? What are they planning to do with it? Impossible. We can't be losing. Are we losing? Oh, so good. When I first got this skill, I was like, that's shit. I don't know what this does. But upon using it in a group, oh my god, so good. Look at that EXP I'm getting. I'm just smashing the shit out of all of these guys. Fluffy, can you play any instruments? P the Magic D is going to teach me how to play the banjo. Yeah, time signatures, no placements, like... Easier than Japanese, I, I guess? Because at least then you're still translating it to... To English immediately. Really, Microsoft? I don't want to set up a Microsoft family. Get off my screen. I'll teach you when I learn from Ad. Is that what he calls it? His banjo? Hmm. 
I, I honestly thought he thought was talking about an actual instrument, but now that you mention it, it might be his magic D. It might be the skin flute. See how much you guys got Rex there? Yeah. Keep fighting. Keep fighting and trying to sneak attack me. It's rude, it's shit, and you deserve all the beatings you get just for trying. I don't want So Windows popped up with a, uh, create a Windows family. And I'm like, no, I don't want to uh, create a Windows family. Get off my screen. Well, there's a baseball diamond near me, so that's possible. In fact, I see it just looking out my back, my window. It's like literally just in my backyard. Did you just really just run up and stab me in the back? You actual fuck. All right, can we beat our goal, our, our uh, record? We've had a hit cat, cat combo of 700 and something before. 750, I think. Hit combo of 800 and something right now. Nine twenty, you guys. No, we hit level nine. Ah, oh, look at that! Confetti and money! That was cool. Magi Sorrow. Alright, let's check this out. What is this? Ah, oh, she's still back. She's back down to doing low amounts of damage. Can I still be naked with the drink tribe? Yes. Yes, you can be. I'm getting 2.5 times the XP now? So it does go up. Higher than 2.0. Alright. 
This level's gonna take a while, but I'm getting lots of kills here. Uh, my combo broke it. It broke. Damn it. That's too bad. It was bound to break eventually, though. I have an explosion of confetti and money, though, so there's that. I don't know if you should yell at the make with a nice cold beverage. <laughs> ah, I just remembered the typo I yeah, made in the chai stream last night. That was glorious and gross. Shout out, uh, try if you, uh, you should create a, a stay hydrated bot that goes around and tells children to make sure they're drinking lots of, uh, fluids before, uh, uh at the park. Just from, just goes up to them. Remember to drink your Ovaltine! When I said that your sister beat you up. And forced you to level your, uh, her, her characters. <laughs> oh, where was that? P the Magic D finished it off. That's fantastic. Ah, <laughs> oh, I agree, that was wrong. That definitely was not what I intended to put. I don't know what the hell my, my typing was doing there. What are all my dreams? I don't have dreams anymore. You guys have made them all come true. That was cheesy. You sometimes dream of being a real dragon and rubbing your body with gold. Wow, that's good. That's a dream I've had once in a while. So for those of you watching, I know this part isn't the most exciting part, but look at all this EXP that I'm, I'd be passing up if I didn't go and kill these guys. Can you honestly begrudge me grabbing this EXP? Ow. Stop stabbing me! That's it. Because of that, you guys all suffer for your injustice against my my back by stabbing me in it. You're too nice. You thought it was gonna be dark, but it ended up cheesy? Would you prefer dark? I used to have dreams, but then my family was murdered. In cold blood. In front of P the Magic D. Seeing his face as my family got murdered. Eternal Darkness. Why would you dream about hell on Earth? That'd be awful. <laughs> my brother, uh, one of my older brothers, he's always talking about how awesome an apocalypse would be and how great the world would be afterwards. Because he thinks it would be all sunshine and exploring runes and shit. And I was like, no. First off, William, you'd be dead. Because the chances of surviving the apocalypse next to none. And then if you did survive, all the other people who did survive would have probably enslaved you. It would not be a, a fun time. It would be a terrible place to be. Will we still get new Dragon Quest games? That's the important question.
Tripe asks the important questions, though. Stop comboing in the middle of my combo, it's rude. Do I interrupt your combo like that? No, because I can't. I don't have any way of interrupting your combo. So have some respect for my combos. Alright, let's see what speed do we need. I don't want to mount the dragon. Let's see how much I need for till this weapon maxes. Ah, 8,000 EXP after all that. The slimes always remind you that there's something good to live and then you wake up an hour before my alarm goes off. The sli- what? The slimes will rise. Again. All right, team, we did it. We reached the end of the line. Clock tower. Let's go inside. There should be a shrine in there. Oh, I, I know what's coming up. I've seen the stupid baby faces on the wall. That was terrifying. Here we are, the shrine. This music kind of reminded me of FF12. Is more. No way. You're still with her. Eris, please understand. No, I don't understand. What are you doing? What do you see that I don't? I only... I only want less people to suffer in this world. I wish the same for our people. That is why I became a knight. Something's come into focus when you leave the knights. Lies! The Knights of the Seal are never wrong. Take back what you said. Eris, are you sure you know about all of the Knights' activities? And if you do, can you honestly condone their methods? Aren't you running from the truth? Me? Running from the truth? Step aside. There's no <laughs> to let your ears to sinners. I shall slay the dragon child with my own hands. That went so well for you for you last time. Gizmo, I won't let your greed rule this land any longer. Your reign and the Knights of the Seal are finished. Do I actually have to fight him again? Did this game forget that that guy's got armor on his chest? Oh shit. He still has underwear. Uh, what happened? Uh, General Kismo? You... You used me as a shield. Shh. Don't try to speak. You're kind and gentle. Yeah. Oh. So 
Some went wild. That's why I... The final key is on the top floor. It's an hourglass called the Holy Sand. Go, Nui. I won't stop you now. Hey. Open your eyes. Eris. Eris. Eris! Eris has pursued justice, just as she has pursued Noe. Have her feeling something. Wisdom! I remember that, Rod. In a far eastern land, there lived a king who made a pact with the spirit who, to acquire the strength he needed to protect his kingdom. He would be absent for months, defending the borders of his realm against demonic incursions. He spent so little time in the capital, in fact, that he that many of his subjects did not even know his face. One such subject was a renowned female warrior whose heroic exploits were famous throughout the kingdom. During the season of spring blossoms, she demonstrated her skill with the staff before the king. Though each had heard stories about the other before that day, they had never actually met. It was love at first sight. In the space of a moment, the two heroes were under each other's spell. The warrior exchanged the ring that adorned her staff, a priceless heirloom that had been in their family for generations, for the for the king's ornate blade, and they vowed to fight side by side to protect the kingdom. Despite their heroic efforts, the demons gained ground in the years that followed. The towns and villages were destroyed and eventually the capital fell. The lovers fought on until the very end, but when the dust of the final battle settled, all that remained was a staff bearing the words, If we should part, we'll meet again beneath the blossom. I love how that ends with everyone dying. Is that how I remember characters in games? What do you mean? Oh. Yeah, I just think of them as Kaim, not Kaim. Look at this! They fucking killed my character again, so now I can't use these weapons! Why? Why do they give me spears later in the game if I can't use them? Ah, oh, so rude. Anyway. So fucking weird. <laughs> there are parts in Mario where you gotta pick up the seed and toss them into these, uh... and toss them into the um, these flower pots, but I kept throwing it and it kept not going into the pot. It would just bounce off the lip of the pot and go somewhere else. So I was like, one day I'll be able to plant my seed. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was a thing. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it, Fluffy. <laughs> 